Oh, I'm recording. Hi, everybody. So on um, November 11th, on Wednesday, we will have no school, but you are going to be celebrating Veterans Day. So I found a really cool story. It's called Celebrating Holidays. It's all about Veterans Day. And after this, I have a really awesome arts and craft project that um, Ellie and me and Lucy all um, work together on. So here we go, my friends. All right, so this is all the table of contents right here. So we're going to read all of this stuff. Veteran, Veterans Day is here. Americans hang flags outside their houses. They think about the people who served the country. So here's the outside houses. We have a flag outside our house. They show patriotism at events. It is Veterans Day. A lot of parades. I don't know if there's going to be any parades. What is Veterans Day? This holiday honors the men and women of the military. People who people give respect to those who served in war and peacetime. So these are all the U.S. Armed Forces. There's the United States Air Force. There's the United States Army. There's the United States Coast Guard. There's the United States Marine Corps, and then there's the United States Navy. Who celebrates Veterans Day? Well, the United States celebrates Veterans Day. Other countries have a similar holiday. They call it Remembrance Day. So here they are, like Remembrance Day. This is in Dartmouth, Canada. So this is in another country. Veterans Day Beginnings. A peace agreement was signed on November 11th, 1918. This ended the fighting in World War I. The signing took place at 11 o'clock in the morning. So this is World War I Cemetery in Flanders, Belgium. Americans wanted to remember this day of peace. They began celebrating Armistice Day. Armistice Day. The United States changed the name to Veterans Day in 1954. So these are U.S. soldiers on Armistice Day, 1918 in France. Time to celebrate! Veterans Day happens on November 11th. Sometimes this day falls during the week, People often throw celebrations on the weekend. So they usually have parades that go through your town. I'm not sure if they're going to have it because of COVID, but keep a, keep a lookout. Veterans Day traditions. Communities hold special parades. They invite veterans to march in their uniforms. Families wave flags and they cheer. So right here, here is an arts and craft that you can make an American flag. Um, you All you need is red and white paper, construction paper, a ruler, pencil, scissors, glue, and star, and small star stickers. And you basically just cut, you cut some strips, you glue them all together, and there's your flag. Or you can do the arts and crafts that I'm going to show you after we read this story together. Places across the world take two minutes of silence at 11 o'clock in the morning. This quiet time shows respect for all those who died in the war. U.S. military and NATO forces in Afghanistan. And these are veterans in Canada. Some people go to the Veterans Day National Ceremony. The president lays a wreath on a special grave. A bugler plays taps. So here's the bugle, and he's playing taps. There is our ex-president, our former president, Obama, on Veterans Day in 2013. Americans, Americans thank veterans from the past and the present. And that is that. That was a pretty cool story, right? Did you guys really enjoy it? I like that. I thought that was a good time. Fun times, fun times. 
Okay, my friends, so after our story, I have a really cool craft for you. It's a really fun one. Um, I hope you really enjoy it. I like doing it. And then Ellie actually made her own too. I will take a picture of mine and I will post it up. But you have to promise to take a picture of yours too and post it up too. So happy Veterans Day, my friends. Bye, everybody.